Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is part two of my fourth episode. If you haven't watched part one so far, check it out. I will link it somewhere right here. Definitely worth to watch. We were on a sick heater in this session. And yeah, let's hope we can continue in this part. But uh, before that, if you like these kind of videos, if you like my content, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help me and the channel a lot. Thank you very much. But now, nothing more to say. Let's hop into part two and let's hop into the action. So we have around 670 euro in our stack. Before we go into the first hand of this part, the under the gun player raises to 12 euro and I'm on the button with a screen offsuit. I decide to mix in a call instead of free betting since he is a very tight player and I have position. The blinds fold and we go to a flop of ace king 9 with two clubs. The under the gun player bets 15 euros and I decide on a call. The turn brings the jack of spades. Not really an ideal card for us even though we get a gut shot to our top pair and the under the gun player bets 22 euro now. I don't feel super comfortable about my hand but for this price and we have a backdoor draw I call and we see a river in form of the seven of spades. Now my opponent decides on a check. Here I could go for a small and thin value bet, but I decide to check back. I want to see which kind of hands this player plays from this position and he shows a screen offsuit as well. This makes sense and we chop the pot. So in the next hand, the under the gun player raises to 10 euros. The button calls and I'm in the small blind and look down at a king offsuit. I definitely free bet here. I raise to 45 euros and only the under the gun player calls. The under the gun player only has around 70 euros effective before he calls my free bet so he just have 25 euros left behind in his stack. We are basically all in on every flop and that's what I do. He instantly calls and the board runs out king 10 5. The turn is a 7 and the river is an ace. I turn over ace king and my opponent max. We are good and scoop a nice pot. So in this one it folds to me in the small blind and I look down at pocket eights. The big blind doesn't want to chop so I raise to 12 euros and the big blind calls. We see a flop of 10, 7, 6 rainbow. I check and the big blind player bets 15 euros. With my double blocker to the nuts I think I can raise here and represent a very strong hand and I raise to 40 euros. To my surprise the big blind now 3 bets to 85 euro. Mission failed I guess and I fold. He later told me he had 8-9 of clubs and that is the reason why he wanted to play this hand because you have a chance to win a piece of a jackpot if you make a straight flush or even a royal flush. I didn't thought about that in this situation but in hindsight I think I would still play this hand like I did in this situation. On to the next one. The next hand is an interesting one. We see a limp in early position and I'm in the cutoff with 8-9 of clubs. I raise to 10 euros and it falls to the big blind to 3 bets to 30 euros. The limper folds and I decide on a call because we are in position and we are more than 100 big blinds deep. We see a good flop for our hand, it's 7-6-3 with one club. We have an open ended straight draw and a backdoor flush draw. The small blind now C bets pretty big, he bets 50 euros. Here I already thought about jamming, putting him to the test, maybe having some fold equity, but in the end I decide just to call and we see a turn. The turn brings the queen of clubs, so we get our backdoor flush draw to our open ended straight draw. Not really surprisingly, the big plan now jams for 134 euro. I don't like this spot, I'm really not sure what to do here, but let's do quick maths. 
If he has an overpair or a hand like ace queen, we only have about 34% equity. If he has a hand like ace x of clubs, we only have about 27% equity. If he has a hand like ace of clubs, king of diamonds for example, we are most likely flipping. But I guess these hands are kinda unlikely. In this moment I feel like he has an overpair or top pair at least. We have to pay 134 euros in a pot of 298. It's almost 1 to 3, but not really. After a really long time, I ultimately decide on a fold. Yeah, I know, I deserve that nit alert, for sure. But I'm really interested in how you would play this hand. Would you jam the flop, put him to the test? Would you call the all in on the turn or would you fold as well? Let me know it in the comments what you think about this hand. I really wasn't sure at this moment and I'm really excited what your thoughts are on this hand. On to the next one. And by the way, he later told me he had an overpair. So on the next one, I'm in the low jack with ace queen offsuit and I raise to 7 euros. The button, the small blind and the big blind called. We see a flop 4 ways of ace jack deuce with 2 spades. The small blind checks and the big blind leads for 12 euros. I'm not sure if that's strong or just a mediocre hand who wants to see where he's at, but I definitely want to know where I am at and I raise to 35 euros. It falls back to the big blind and he 3 bets us. Getting 3 betted again on the flop, I'm loving it. He 3 bets us to 80 euros. Ah. This part of the session definitely is not that easy than it was in the first part. After some consideration I fold and we see a next hand. So in the next hand we see a limp from the low jack. I'm in the hijack with ace queen of clubs. I raise to 10 euros the big blind and the low jack calls. So we go three ways to a flop of ace 6-6. Six, six. Pretty good flop for us. I see bet 11 euros after they check to me and the big blind calls. The turn brings an offsuit 4. The big blind checks again. I bet 25 euro now and he calls again. The river brings another ace. Not ideal card, we chop with other aces now and sure enough the small blind now bets 15 euros. Pretty small bet, I raised to 50 euros just in case he didn't have an ace, but he pretty quickly calls. I turn over ace queen, he turns over ace 8 and we chop this pot. So in the next hand under the gun raises to 7 euros, the low jack calls and I'm on the button with pocket jacks. I definitely free bet here, I make it 28 euro to go and both players call. So we see a flop 3 raise of 10, 7, 6 with 2 hearts. Under the gun checks and now the low jack player donk leads 50 euros. Definitely not the best board for us, but I can't fold with my overpair so I call and the under the gun player folds. The turn brings the four of clubs. Now my opponent decides to check. I don't want to get check raised and be in a pretty tough spot, so I check back and we see a river and it's a blank, it's the two of clubs. He now instantly bets 60 euros and since this is an absolute blank I snap call. He shows pocket nines and I'm good with my pocket jacks. So in this hand the 4 euro button straddle is on. The small blind folds, the big blind completes and I'm under the gun with pocket queens. I free bet to 18 euro. The player next to me in the plus one seat now 4 bets to 68 euro. He's one of the tightest player at the table and it folds back to me and I don't feel pretty comfortable about my hand. We are pretty deep so I think I can't fold right now even though I think he only raises here with aces, kings and maybe ace king. I call and we see a flop of 6-4-4. Four, four. I check and he bets 50 euros. For this price I can't fold right now and I think he may will shut down on any turn if he don't has an overpair. So I call, we see a turn and it's an offsuit 10. I check again and now he bets 100 euros. We play about 300 euros effective after this bet and I already see him jamming on any river and to this point I really put him on kings or aces. 
I don't think he would play ace king this way. In my opinion, he is not the kind of player who wants to risk his money if he don't has it. And because of that, I fold. Yeah, I know, I deserve that net alert. I show him my pocket queens and then he completely destroys us. He shows ace king of suit. He absolutely crushes us in this hand and yeah, I feel pretty bad. Thank you, Dennis. But well played, well played. There's one last hand I want to go over. In this one, the 10 euro button straddle is on, the big blind calls and I'm under the gun with 8 nine of spades. I raise to 45 euros and it falls back to the big blind who calls. We see a flop of 10, 10, 3 with one spade. So we have some backdoor draws and after he checks to me, I see bet. I guess I don't have to make it too big, so I bet 35 euros on this dry flop and after some consideration, he calls. We see a turn and it brings the ace of clubs. So we break out with our backdoor draws, but the ace is in general a very good card for me. He checks to me again and I think I can definitely bet on this turn to fold out his weaker hands. And again, I don't think I have to make it too big here, so I bet 60 euros. Sadly, after some consideration, he calls again. We see a river and it brings a five. So absolutely no help for us. He checks to me again and here I thought about overbet jamming for a second, but my opponent is kind of a recreational player who made some lighter calls in the beginning of the session. So after some consideration, I decide to give up and check back. I turn over 8-9 suited and he shows a seven off suit. Ouch. So I lose this one as well and after that hand I don't feel pretty good anymore. I decide to rack up. We still booked a win in this session but it doesn't really felt like a win. So quick session update. It was brutal. It was brutal. We ran like God in the first hour and then the last two or three hours we couldn't win one pot. It, feels, it felt like we couldn't win one pot. Uh, we were into the game for 200 euros and we are out of the game for 315 euros. So we booked a win of 115 euros, but honestly, it feels like a loss. It feels like a loss. We were up like 500 euros and now we are only cashing out for a profit of 115 euros. We won. We didn't book a loss, so I can be happy, but I don't feel happy right now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, see you next time, like and subscribe. But before we finish this episode, a small announcement for the next one. Some of my viewers asked me if I can do a German voiceover and since I'm a German poker player, I can relate to that question. And for this reason, the next episode will be in German. So if you enjoy the German voiceovers over my action, let me know it in the comments and see you there, see you next episode. Thank you very much. Bye.